That's a cool sign. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the basement. Welcome back to the channel. In my York promo video, I took uh, a shot of me walking down my basement steps. <laughs> Let's get ready. It's York week. It's York week. <sighs> and as we did that, we passed some pretty awesome signs. So I got some comments about these. People were asking me about them and I figured, let's make a quick video and talk about it. Let's go. So what you see here is a Masonite piece of wall art from a company called Stoddart's. Let's go check out their website quickly. So on Stoddart's site, you can see they have a plethora of options of signs just like the ones that you see here. Now, unfortunately at this point, they've over the last like year or year and a half, they have actually moved locations and they're still working on building their new shop. So they're not producing any more of these. In fact, on their website, they had a big sale uh, right before they moved. And that was unfortunately before I even knew about the company. I discovered these types of signs, these Stoddart signs, when I went to Detroit in June of 2022 and I visited the Brownings. They have two of these signs in their house. And so I kind of have always been on the lookout for them since then because they, like, they're just so neat. Uh, you know, the you can kind of see a, a proportion of size about the size of my torso. Um, so a good size for the wall. They do have a switch on the bottom and they've got some of that neat lighting as well. I love the Mars lights on, on the Santa Fe unit. And then I also have the 759 Burke as well. So since I've been on the lookout for these, a cabin fever auction popped up a couple months ago and they had a bunch of these available. So they had this one, the 759 Burke, which we'll look at in a minute. They also had a Canadian Pacific diesel they had a norfolk southern diesel they had a milwaukee road um inner city unit they had a daylight gs right now they but uh all things considered i really wanted the santa fe unit for obvious model railroading reasons and then i thought the burke was pretty cool too so let's check that one out so here's the burke this is the 759 so it's not 765 which would be the more popular one now i don't have a, a 759 or a 765 in my collection so i figured uh you know I, I was okay just picking up the 759 for now and actually i had this listed on the forum for sale for for a while and no one uh no one bit on it so I'll, right now it's still on my wall now there are some flaws with this one this one was dropped before i bought it so i was able to get it for a really good deal so what what are some of the flaws well some of these pieces here are broken off this should continue up like you see on this side, and then the step on this side broke off as well. Now, as I mentioned, these are masonite. So if we look, you'll actually see it's layered and then um, adhered together with a wood glue and painted. So it's a pretty neat design. And then the lights are built in as well. So we can turn the lights on, turn the lights off. Um, and then they just use two AA batteries. There's the Stoddart's information there on the back. And again, we'll, we'll provide their information in the, uh, the video description as well. So like I said, this one's got some issues. Uh, and I do do a little bit of woodworking on the side. So I'm going to try to see if I can patch this one up at some point in time. It's just not the top of my priority list right now. So those are the two that I picked up. But wait, there's more. So as I mentioned, also in that cabin fever sale, there was one more available. Pretty nice, isn't it? Now, this one is not mine. That's why it's still in the bag. In fact, it was still in the box until about 30 seconds ago when I just opened it up. I'm not taking it out of the bag because it's not mine. I purchased it in the auction for a friend who is out of the country. Um, any guesses who this might be for? I guess you have to wait and see. So that's that. I purchased them from an auction. Uh, they come up for sale every once in a while, but not all that often. I'm very anxious for when Stoddard opens up their new shop to purchase a couple more of these things for, for my, my train room. They're a really great accent piece to have. Uh, they're perfect for the steps. I don't have any train shelves there. I do have them hung up pretty high. So if you're walking down the steps with a box, you don't bump into them because you definitely don't want them to fall, which is what happened in that 759. But we'll get that patched up at some point in time. And maybe one day that one will be for sale if Stoddard's opens back up and I can pick up some PRR or a UP engine or something like that. But uh, so thank you for asking the questions in the comments. Here's a video to kind of show you uh, what those signs are. And like I said, 
It's just masonite that's, that's assembled together, obviously laser cut and quite a process. The solders do a fantastic job with these signs. The paint is phenomenal. The graphics are great. It's so neat with the lighting as well. And you can just flick the switch while it's on the wall because the switch is on the bottom, not on the back. So you can leave them off until you have people over and quickly flip the button and turn them on for a really neat effect. So that is where those signs came from. Thanks so much for watching. Check out Stoddard's website. It will be in the link or in the description below. Check that out. Hit that subscribe button, everybody. Thanks so much. Have a good day.